sees crazy crossroads. Keep the communication in the What's going on everybody? It's Chris coming to you with another one of my crazy crossroads. I'm with Big Joey C. Urban Ghost Urban Explorations. We're at the Dupree Gardens. I haven't been here yet. When I was kind of going through my uh, family stuff, Big Joey C. came out here, saw some creepy stuff, so he said we have to come out. So here we are. It's another beautiful night here in Florida. I think it's like 68 degrees. Love it. Light jacket. We're going to have some fun tonight. So let's see what happens on the inside. Deuces. Okay, so we're here. Um, it's just really awesome that we have this great weather, so we are definitely taking advantage of being outside any chance we can get. Um, now this place is an old like botanical garden that um, was an attraction out here that closed down in the 1940s or whatever, so um, it's been abandoned for quite some time. And I'm sure there's going to be some real crazy stuff out here because Joey already told me that it was nuts. So, um, on the back side of this, I think they built a huge development. Um, funny thing is, I know there's a, a, a housing development back here that General Storman Norman Schwarzkopf uh, lived. I believe that was where he resided when he um, had passed on. Um, so, there's a real nice development off the back side of this. I believe this was just a big, huge. Um, attraction with glass bottom boat tours and all that around the lakes and all that stuff. So there's a bunch of lakes in the back. Um, the initial area of the garden, I believe, is the only part that's still here. Um, it's very historical. Um, we can't get back to the lakes because there's homes on it now. So, um, that being said, guys, we're gonna head into this little uh area over here <laughs> and see what we can find. So the only crummy part of this so far is um, there are cars everywhere. A lot of cars coming by here. Now Joe saw a um, right over here, brother, at that door. I was standing here at the lights off, and I was standing there, and a, like a, a it, even though the lights were off, it was darker than dark. Figure came right through here. Jesus, what was, what was that noise? It's back here, Joe. Right back here, buddy. Back there? Yep, right back here, buddy. Well, there's a fence line here. Yeah, that sounded that could have been a, a hoot or something. That might have been an owl, but that we just heard. I don't know what that was. Oh my god! No, hey Chris, there's a shirt over there, a little girl's shirt on one of those pillars. Yeah. And last time I was here, it was right over here. So I wonder if something happened to somebody here. You know? Oh my god, dude, that scared the shit out of me. Man, that was freaky. Right? It almost sounded to me like somebody was here. I think, uh, what do you think that was? I, we definitely just heard something, guys. I'm going to shut this and, and just put my flashlight on and see if I can capture anything. Yeah, it's, it's the crazy thing about this. Like, it's just a one side of track. Dude. I heard, like, a little girl's voice. Oh, my God. See, it's, a, it's <clears> the same <throat> thing that happened a long time ago.
Oh, Joe. What? You hear? Do you hear that? No, I didn't hear that. That's okay. Shh. Shh. There's no one in here. There can't be anyone in here, so. <laughs> God, I told you, man. This is ridiculously scary. Now, again, guys, back in this building here is where. Okay. <clears throat> it really stinks that there's that there is um so much traffic here this road is a cutoff road from two major highways So the big guy seeing a shadow figure <clears throat> is weighing on my nerves because I swear that there's voices here. But what the hell could it be? I don't think there's anything negative that went on, any crimes or deaths or anything, but you know, this place has been here since the early 1900s, so who knows? Let's see if we pick up anything, because last time it was so dark, nobody could see anything. And then we have the K2 meter as well, and of course we brought our Yankee candle. Because you know what, I'm a Yankee doodle dandy. A Yankee Doodle Do or Die. So we brought our Yankee Candle. No, we're not sponsored by Yankee Candle, but we do have a Yankee Candle. Now I'm gonna light this. So let me leave this light on here. I'm just gonna sit here and watch that <clears throat> meter for a little bit. Yeah, Chris is watching the meter. I'm lighting the Yankee Candle right now. Do you have that, uh, my fluorescent light? Is that yours? Yeah. Okay. Yep, it's right here, it's on my face. Alright, now, so last time we did this, okay guys, I had no light at all. Alright, we're gonna, we're gonna, um, we're gonna just chill for a minute. Or maybe, I don't know. Once we... Alright, that could be, that could be an animal. That's Yeah. All right, now I'm gonna kind of show, again, this doorway is where I saw that black shadow figure come. It was enormous, guys. I, I honestly thought it was like, <laughs> for some reason, like, I don't know, like, 
an arm and a torso coming around here. You can see that right over there. But you see what it looks like in here with just the candlelight from outside. Alright, now, yeah, it's got that eerie feel. Yeah. I just want to see if uh, if this K2 will go off. You know, I if, we're, if we're quiet enough and just maybe, yeah. So Chris has set the K2 up here. I think what we're going to do is, we, we, it seems like it's safe for us to sit on the floor there, but we got the, we got the, again, we got the black light, the K2 meter, and the candle, and I'm excited to see if we capture anything, because quite frankly, I mean, I'm positive last time I was here, I, I caught something, you know what I mean? I, I am so positive of that. And, uh, anyway, I'm, I'm going to say a prayer if Chris would like to join, that's fine. I think it's a good idea, especially since last time. You yeah, want to do that? Yeah, absolutely. Let's do it. Alright, we're going we're gonna to say a prayer, guys, because it seems to be the right thing to do, and uh, let's do it, alright? Heavenly Father, Jesus Christ, you are my Savior, and I ask for your protection. It's through Christ that all things are possible. We uh, ask that you protect us tonight in our endeavors, and that you protect all who watch this video. It's through you, Jesus, we know all things are possible. Amen. Mm -hmm. Alright, we're doing this. I gotta take video. Yeah. I, I didn't hear that. Did it sound like something rustling? Because over it here... It sounded rustling. It sounded like somebody just went... Something like that. Alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna sh cut off for one second because I gotta take a potty break, Jojo. Alright. Alright. Yeah. It's a little wet. Alright. Oh. Alright. Let's see. Actually this is kind of perfect. If I can get this camera to sit right. You should you know what? Why don't you put yours this way on me and I'll put mine on you. You know what I mean? I mean, we could do Because I got you perfectly. This is perfect lighting, though. If you take a look here, Chris, check it out real quick, though, before we do that. If you sit over here with your camera, look at this. Yeah, I see it. I got it on the mic, too. It's perfect. You know what I mean? Yeah, unfortunately, I don't have the stand for mine. All right, so let's see if we capture. What the fuck was that? What was that? I mean, there was a car ride by at the same time. I hope the camera figured out. It sounded like somebody like kind of said something. My camera keeps cutting on and off. Okay, I don't know if that was captured or not. Can we move this over here a little yeah, more? Yeah, so sure. I get a little... Let's try to do. It. Let's try to get the lighting just right. And let me try to move my camera, guys. Sorry. It's just that this camera, this the little stand that it's on, just keeps moving around. Let's see, you got the candlelight? Yeah, I got the K2. <sighs> now, I'm not too familiar how this K2 is supposed to work, but... If there are, I guess if there are any spirits, they can come through on the K2, right? Supposedly. I mean, I don't really... See, guys, we don't really use too much ghost equipment tonight. We're trying something... Very, very different. I you know. know. It just turned red, but I think I moved it. Yeah. Should we put the K2 here and try to ask questions? It's lit up. That's the first time it lit up. Are you a spirit trying to come through? You see that? See, I'm not getting that. Let me move my camera over here. Look, well, let's just move the K2 over there. It's lighting up like crazy. But is it because I'm talking? Uh, all right, so. I got the K2 meter, this light. There, if there's any spirits here, can you light the K2 meter up? Can you give us an indication? Whoa, what, 
kind of like, again, like called right? Very evil. Yeah, that's Somewhere around here, there's, 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 there's a man. There's definitely a man. There's a man's voice, that's for sure. Hey, Joe, did you hear him? Did you hear a guy? Is that you, Joe? Oh, Jesus, dude. This is this this place is giving me the creeps. This place is giving me the absolute creeps, dude. Yeah, it's pretty scary as hell. I hate all this, this, because the cutoff right. to the two highways are right here. This sucks. All we're going to hear is road noise. We're going to hear a lot of road noise, guys. Again, I apologize about the road noise. I don't know what to do about that. But I think we should try here. We got the candle up here. Let's see if we can summon whatever this thing was. Now, we're hearing stuff already, which is freaky. And I don't know, again, what it could possibly be. Whatever it is, it's uh, it's pretty scary. So there's definitely uh, something. I heard so something. If there's any spirits here, can you make the K2 meter go off? I, I don't know how to really use this. I think it. So it, the green light's on. That's supposed to be on, right? Yeah. And then I think it, like it was flashing before when I said something. Okay. All right. Let's put it here. Let's see if we can work off the one light. You want to try or? Yeah. All right, so there may be a cut in this video, guys, because initially what we did was we were in here in the dark. Now, again, sorry about the road noise. It echoes through here. But Chris and I heard something. He ran outside. Let's see if we can summon something in here tonight. What was that? Joe, you hear that? It's a moaning sound. There's a moan. Come on, man. Oh, my God. Oh, I hope they picked it up on here. I hope I picked it up. Oh, hey, dude, I heard that too. Can you do something tonight? Show us the case. I really want to see if this works. Now, again, Rob, I mean, Chris, I, and Rob never really use equipment. <laughs> so, I don't even know if we have this set up right. I'm assuming we do because the green light's yeah, on. Yeah, that's right. I mean, it was, it was flashing like crazy before. Okay. Dude, that, there's something out back here. I, I mean, I, I appreciate that K2 meter thing, but oh, all yeah. the... Right, I'm telling you, man, there's voices all over here now. Again, you guys can go a little this way. Oh, who's that? What's that? It's freaky.
I'm so paranoid right now. I can't even tell you how freaking paranoid I am. Something's like... Something watching or something in the back there. I just heard something right here too. You know what? I can walk back here. It was literally something moving right back here. Oh man. It's a bad spot. Something, something moved back there. Right well, as I was actually looking, I saw the friggin' bush move. I walked back to it, but what went off? The, the meter? meter it, fl it just flashed a few times. So I don't know. I don't know if it's just because I moved it. Uh, move, it move it around, like shake it around. I mean, it's really not doing nothing. So, I'm gonna try it. Let's say now it's going crazy. Oh, that could be my flashlight. Oh, yeah, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, I just put my flashlight by it, so... What did you hear out there, man? I heard a man. I heard a man's voice, clear as day, when I got up and ran. I don't know what the heck it said, but it sounded like a guy telling us to get the hell out of here. I, see, so... My initial thought... was... that... There's, let me turn this back on so I can talk. My, my initial thought was that there was a guy maybe from the properties in the back. Right. But that's so far off. Like telling us to get the hell out of here. But, you know, this is a common area. Anybody can be here at any time. Yeah. But everything sounds like it's in that one spot of the woods right here. You want to go check it out? That, I do. I just walked back there too. Because as I was, the last, the last voice I heard... I looked, I was looking through here, Joe. Yeah. So I was looking through here, right? You know, this fence separates this place from the neighborhood back there. So voices could potentially come from there, but... So see that little, that dead palmetto right there? See that dead palmetto bush? While I was looking here, that like moved. And I heard a rustle. So then I walked back there. There's nothing there. I mean, and I had my I had my eyes on it the whole time. This place is just freaking me out, dude. I'm like paranoid and scared to death. Yeah, it's, it's just a little so area. Voices. Right, and there's so many voices here. I think we should try to turn up the, the heat in there and see what we capture. Because I was like I said last yeah. time I was here, there was something. I'm fine with that. I mean, I think I mentioned it earlier, but um, we don't know there to be anything bad that's went on here, but this has been here since, like I said, I think I'm repeating myself, since the early 1900s. So who knows what could have happened here, you know? You've got an enclosed, I don't know, what would you go, a little, little hut? Little cabin, little stone 
cabin here that you know people could have done a lot of crazy stuff right here where we're standing from I mean this closed in the 1940s so that means it had to have been open a lot earlier than that So this place has been here for a long, long time. So we're not big on trying to summons things, but I mean, we could uh, we can go in there and ask some questions and see what the heck's going on here. But this place is really creepy. Um, the worst part of it, I think, is the road noise going by, but that's the calming part, part to me, too, because you're not, we're not stuck in the back of the woods. We have that uh, civilization reminder every 10 seconds of a car going by. So, All right, well, let's go back in and see what we can do, and if we get anything, we get something. If not, I think we've got some voices for sure. My camera just shut off. Oh, you're at a half hour? Yeah, we've been at it for a half hour. You was probably going to shut off in a second. No, I, I, I peed. I took a pee-pee break. Oh. And then when we were setting that up, I shut it off again because I couldn't get this stand to work. So, I don't think, I don't, I don't think we're getting anything on that, Joe. Yeah, so the K2 meter is kind of a bust, but I want to see if we capture something in here. I mean, we're... I'm no expert on summoning anything, and I, some people may disagree with this, but there was definitely something at that door when I was here last time, and it's got me, it actually got, had me, had, made me have some, like, nightmares and stuff, you know? Yeah, when Joe made this video, he called and told me all about it, and, you know, anytime you think you see something, yeah. it freaks you, it freaks you out at the time, but then it seems like after the fact when you start thinking about it or we watch playback it seems like uh it just sticks in your head it sticks in your head and sticks in your head and you wonder if it really was something but yeah. who knows hey. these light these, these little lights are just really like key chain lights so yeah i'm gonna yeah, shut that like up this, like this, this uh yeah this is the little i did a commercial the other day for the old light and this is the one that they gave away it's kind of weird, right? That light. I mean, I don't know. And it's cool because it you can actually cool see effect. the moon. Look, Chris, you can actually see the moon like that. Yeah. That's awesome. Right. I don't know. I don't know why staring at this thing is like kind of cool. <laughs> it's just a cool effect, yeah. Did you hear that? Like, mm -hmm. it's the same kind of moan we heard before. Yeah, it's weird. All right, let's just. This is, uh, oh, maybe you could set up a camera on that side, and I'll set up a camera on this side. We'll do lights I, out. I have this bipod. I can't unless oh, I just lean you can it. Just lean it against the wall. I'll try it and see what happens. So we're trying to work I don't know if it'll work. We're just finding things. And why is this not recognizing me? Who are you recognizing? Okay, so I'm leaving. Um, <laughs> careful that bucket. Are right, we gonna do lights out? I'm gonna set up the camera over here. Chris is gonna set it up over there. We have the candle, and let's see, see if yeah. we capture anything. If not, this may be a bust. But yeah, it's going to try. Is it on? Okay, good. All right, so we're gonna just kind of set up a little cross camera thing. And See if we can catch anything. Alright, so we're gonna try lights out. Now again we have up there we have that little, <laughs> that little black light may not do nothing. Candle burning. <clears throat> and the candle burning, so I don't really know, but All right, my light's going out. I will tell you this though, Joe. Yeah. Watch the K2. What? Is the K2? Tell the K2 to go off. Wait, let me, I want to capture this. Now. No, no, just tell it to go off real fast. 
If this spirit's here, can you make that? Oh, is it flat? Oh, bro. Dude, my flashlight. Oh, I'm, I'm literally putting my flashlight to the back of it. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's, okay. Yeah. I thought that was really going off. And apparently it goes off with the flashlight. Well, because it's, it's an EMF, so yeah. there's a magnet on the back of the flashlight. Right. Anyway, Chris, <laughs> Chris is showing me the K2 meter, and really all it's doing is it, it, just, it just works with the flashlight. Yeah, there it goes. That's too funny. All right, if there's any spirits here, make yourself known. What is that? It's what? Any spirits here you want to make yourself known? <laughs> it's funny, the only thing I could see is your bald head. <laughs> How about this? Yeah. Let me see. My teeth? The candle is on fire. Whoa, the candle's on fire. Joe, 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 Joe! The candle, the candle, look at this! What? Look, 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 look! Well, there's a, what is, there's a shirt on it. That's the shirt that was out there. Oh my god, Joe, dude, what are you fucking? You gotta be kidding. Holy Christ. Let me get step on it, man. Oh, I could. What the fuck just happened? How did we not smell that? I thought I was smelling something. That is fucking unbelievable. All right, that's the shirt that, was, that you saw yeah, outside. That's the shirt that was out there. It's there, and it was on the candle. How the hell did it get on the candle? Because I didn't touch that thing. Other than okay. That. So that's the same shirt that Joe was talking about from. The last time he was this out here, too. This is resting on top of the candle. Do you think that maybe, like, something was trying to tell us something? Dude, I was over there. You were in this corner doing the... I mean, none of us went near that shirt. And Chris and I are the only two here, so that's really messed up. You know what? Maybe he was trying to tell us something with a shirt. Let's see. And I don't even want to touch oh, this. I don't touch it. Yeah, it's like, wow, well, I didn't even know I touched it and pulled it off. It's so freaky, bro. Even though that's like, damn, that would have taken a long time for that to start burning, Joe. The moans that I heard earlier, I could have sworn were a, a, a female. What is what is that? What's the significance of that? Joe, what's the significance of that? What is the significant, uh, significance of that? I mean, what is that? We were trying to summon something. There's a shirt here that could possibly have belonged to a victim. You never know. Where was that shirt last? Dude, when I first came here, that shirt was over here, okay? When I did my loan challenge, it was sitting right back there where we heard those voices. Tonight when we came, that shirt was here on top of this thing. And... That sounded like a little girl. Remember the moans that we heard earlier? Same... So I have shot hours of footage without my battery ever going dead. That's crazy, bro. My battery died for the first time ever. I I'm mean, it's... Like, okay. Be, how did that actually manifest over here? I mean, literally. The shirt is just blowing me away. Because if it was out there, how the heck did it get in there and, and burn? It makes no sense. But before the camera went out, well, you're, you're going to see it. I don't know why I'm repeating myself. But there's a friggin' feed. There was a female voice clear as day. You know what really bothers me though? 
sounded like a little girl's voice. I know, I know, that's what that moan sounded like too. Touch this, but at the same time, something's happened here. Something must have happened here, yeah. and we just Roxy don't know Paradise. About. I mean, this is a girl shirt. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's definitely a girl shirt. That's not right. That's not a little boy shirt, is it? No. It actually, the shirt melted. That's all it did. Look, it didn't even burn. Oh, it was. It looked like it was. Look, the candle even burnt. Yeah. Damn. I'm freaked out, dude. I am so freaked out here, it's not even funny. So who who would ever know that this little place here can freak you out so bad? There's something over here. My battery dying, that's weird. Well, we got some crazy stuff. Here. The letter W. So let's see. If, should we try to see if we can make contact or no? I think we. <laughs> I mean, we came all the way out. Here. I think we have. I feel like there's something here, man. That candle, that's insane. I can't get over that. No, that doesn't make any sense. My mind is trying to figure this out. Like, okay, so when I was here, I saw a shadow man come through here. Clearly, you and I heard voices tonight. Clearly, I was over there and you were over here. It's not like, you'll see in the video, none of us left here to go there to get the shirt to put it here. So I know that's, that's going to be something somebody's going to think because we had the lights out, but that's not the case. And you clearly see that in the video, but the problem is, is that how did this get here? I can't wrap my head around this. Like, we've seen some pretty spooky stuff, but Chris, this makes no sense. Uh-oh. I am dumbfounded. Uh, I feel horrible too. Maybe we should say a prayer if there was a little girl here or something, you know? I, I just don't feel right about this thing. I feel like we're leaving something on the table that we shouldn't. Sound like a little girl humming. I can't take my eyes off this shirt though because it's so weird.
So, literally, this is really strange. <clears throat> Male, female, sounds like a younger female. Um, rustling, moving on the other side over here. We heard it, just heard a thud of some sort. I'm not sure what the heck's going on here, but, uh, it's a. Uh, it's got me really. Oh, guys, I'm sorry. I had to zoom in again. Really uneasy. It just. I hate this feeling. I don't feel sick. I just feel uneasy. I feel like. I'm definitely paranoid. I feel like something's gonna happen. Something bad. I don't like it. I don't like this feeling one bit. But I mean, we've been here for a long time and we've been okay so far. So, I mean, if there is something here, I mean, something, some kind of spirit here. Maybe it's just abiding its time and seeing if we'll leave. I keep getting drawn back on this side. And it just seems like... It seems like the other side over here is where... There's pure and innocence. And then over here... Seems like there's just wicked and evil. If that makes any sense at all. It's just so strange. It's just so strange that I come to this side. I'm, I'm uneasy, but I feel like You know, there's the good versus the evil. I come back over here and it's like a chill. get it just don't get it all right <clears throat> uh, let's go see what the People say, well, it's only 25 minutes this video. I wanted to do 30 minutes. Well, uh, while Joe's talking, I think I'm going to wrap it up. Because, uh, I think that uh, this place has just freaked me out enough. I do want to say um, I do want to say one thing, guys. Veterans Day is past. Um, happy Veterans Happy Veterans Day to all the veterans out there, and thank you for all you you have done for our country. Um, I'd like to dedicate this video to all the 
men and women that sacrificed their lives um, for our freedom. Um, so grateful for all of you. Um, I actually had a friend of mine that uh, called me on Veterans Day and told me that a good friend of his had uh, taken his own life. And he was a, he was an old troop, and just just was living with a lot of pain and agony. And uh, it's sad. It's unfortunate that when they come back from these crazy wars, they can't let them go, and they live. With... Did you hear that, Joe? They live with so much pain and anguish. So, to all of you, thank you. I love you all. And I'm grateful for everything you've done and still do. Hey, I'm sorry. So horrible about this. It's through you, Christ, and all things are possible. Please protect all children. You didn't hear that? What? Uh, just like a huge slam back there. No, I mean, uh, what did you hear? Basically, you're freaking out, man. Yeah, I'm not. I'm. I'm. Sick. I'm about done. Um, <coughs> because sick, for real, I'm done. I'm done. Because yeah, this is a freaky night. I yeah. don't even know if I'm gonna put this video out. To be honest, it bothers me that much. I'm putting it out. This is wow. Well, yeah. I just. uh on my video, I, I did it, uh, you know, because uh, Veterans Day just passed, and I gave a tribute, uh, thanks to all the veterans out there. Um, so I'd like to do the same to your channel, if that's cool. Yeah, um, of course. But uh, I'll tell you the story of that later when we're on our way home. Very yeah, sad thing. Go back in there one more time. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna sign off, dude. This, this, this battery is, this battery's low too. My spare. Yeah, this is not good. Okay. So, I'm going to sign out, guys. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for watching this video. Guys, I appreciate it. Always do. Always will. Um, I don't know. I don't know what the heck's going on with this place. It's just so weird. It's just so strange. Do we bring things with us? Do we, like, carry this negative energy that just seems to show up or just come out because uh i don't get it but then again we had i went to that house out in ocala and just kind of a nice calm night um i don't know i don't get it like you said there just seems like seems to be something evil here so um Anyway, I'm going to sign off, guys, but thank you for watching. Um, stay tuned. I've got some more stuff coming out. Uh, we really are waiting for a friend of ours to come through with this place that I hope, fingers crossed, um, we can get into. So, uh, And if we do, it's going to be a doozy because there was some, there's, there's been a lot of crazy things going on in this place. So I don't want to get my hopes up too much, but I feel pretty confident about it. I thought we would have been in there already, but we haven't been. But guys, merchandise down below. Holidays are coming. Grab a t-shirt, grab whatever you'd like. Um, everything else is down below. I hope you guys like this song um, that I'm gonna uh, play out again. I played it the other day, it's called Rage. Um, my friend Daryl Bevins is, is the artist. Um, I'm also gonna attach his band's name on the, on the bottom as well in the description um who was involved in that song too i just love it i think it's a cool tune um cameos uh p.o box all that good stuff um i love you guys i will see you really soon i hope this weather stays like this but it's florida so it'll be 90 degrees again and we'll have to be sweating and inside again but i will see you guys next time peace